Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. Over the holidays, I got into a new hobby. I ordered a miniature house kit, built it, and really found it to be nice and a relaxing activity. I ordered a few more, and now, having built a quite a few, I found that it'd be more efficient if I had a dedicated supply holder to hold all my build supplies. So today, I'm gonna to show you how I built a custom plywood box to hold all my miniature house supplies and to build on. To start this project, I thought through what size items would go into each tier. I knew each miniature house kit came with some supplies in plastic bags and those would be perfect on the bottom tier. So with that as my starting point, I drew out some measurements on my iPad and determined for the whole build I was going to need two 2x4 two foot plywood sheets. The plywood's 1 4th inch so this will still remain very lightweight and there's nothing heavy that's going to be in it so that is going to work perfect for this project. And as you can see, I'm using angled aluminum to hold all tiers together. And that is also lightweight, so it works perfect for this build. Join me as I show you how I assembled this box. Here are the measurements for the bottom box. And these are based on the items that I was gonna put in here. I decided to go with removable dividers, so if I need to change up the bottom section in any way, I can do that. I started by marking my cuts for the first piece of plywood. We're gonna use a table saw to make these cuts. This is our favorite table saw, the saw stop. It's a very safe table saw and has a lot of safety built in. So I highly recommend investing in one of those. This is actually something we got secondhand from a friend of ours. I'm very visual, so each cut I made, I made sure that I knew exactly which part of the project it was gonna go in. And I also used sticky notes to label everything. And as I went on, I made sure each piece fit together. And if there was any off measurements, I would make sure to make those adjustments right away. On to the middle section. Here are the dimensions for that box. You can see this section we used to hold all my supplies for building the miniatures. For the middle tier, I wasn't sure how I wanted to use dividers. And so here I'm just kind of determining what size dividers I want to use. And I'm basing these on just some scraps that I had. To attach all these pieces together, we're actually just gonna use wood glue. And right here, I'm actually pouring our wood glue into a smaller tipped glue bottle. And this is actually one of the bottles I use for my miniatures to get really fine uh, glue into the spots. So this worked perfect actually to get a good bead of wood glue into the spaces. And we can also clean up the excess really easily because I decided I didn't want to finish these in any way. I just wanted the pure plywood. And so I didn't want a lot of excess glue that we were gonna, we were gonna have to sand off. And you can see here we're using weights and an old school iron to hold this in place while the glue dries. For the bottom box, we actually glued six pieces of scrap wood onto the sides, and that's where we're going to slip the divider right in the middle. And we're using the dividers right now just to hold it in place while we glue it all together. And here are the dimensions for the top box. This was the easiest one to put together. And again, we just based it on the measurements of what my needs were. We followed the same process as we did for the bottom and middle boxes. We just glued them together. And to hold this together while it dried, we actually just used a little bit of painter's tape and those weights again. Mom did a quick sanding to all the boxes. And again, we didn't put any finish on this. If I need to in the future, I'll just probably put a clear coat. Next, we stacked the boxes together and I measured out where the aluminum angle needed to be cut. Here, I'm securing it and cutting it with our portable bandsaw. To attach it, I'm only attaching it to the bottom box and I'm using a Gorilla Glue contact adhesive. This glue bonds virtually everything from wood, metal, ceramic, and more. It's also fabric safe. Lastly, I added a handle to both sides of the bottom box. This will allow me to pick up all the boxes really easily. 
This has been awesome to have. I've built a couple houses since I built this and this is a perfect way to hold all of these supplies together. What about you? Do you have any hobbies that you could make a unique box to hold everything together for? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. And building miniatures has actually inspired me to build miniature models of our builds before we build them. So stay tuned because our next big build, I've already built a mini version.